Joined by Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill and the fourth member of our crew, reporter Ali LaForce. Ali, it's all yours. Well, guys, we've seen star players forcing their way to new teams, and Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, there will always be situations where guys are unhappy. You always hope that those don't play out publicly. When you have players actively seeking to move while they're under contract, that's not good for the league. Brian, we'll see what happens. All right, Ali, thanks. Now the starting group for the visitors. And for Chicago... You look at Charlotte. Here's Reynolds. Pass to Bowen. Here's Gilmore. Here's Reynolds. Shot clock at six. Here's Bowen. He tries for three. That shot off the mark. Here's Hall. Pass to McGee. Left side, Berea. Here's Hull. This one for three. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. From the strike. Owen can't hit. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Outside Berea. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Here's McGee. And good on the seven-footer. You knew something had to go in at some point. Maybe the start of better things ahead. Pass to Bowen. They set the pick. The three is up. Off 
offensive rebound. A very sluggish start on offense. Four attempts with nothing to show for. Here's Hall. To the paint. From the low block. Miles with a rebound. For Charlotte, they've gone 0 for 4, missing their first four attempts. Well, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here at first. Hook loose. Outside Berea. Nice start for him, sinking his first shot. The floater can be a tricky shot, but that's the right choice. The visitors with the ball. Nothing up yet on the scoreboard for him. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. That's a good timeout. They just can't hit anything. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. about three minutes into this first quarter. Pass to Miles. Shoots over McGee. That one rolls around and rims out. I mean, just a tough start. Missing their first five shots. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Big time move to the rack. And look, his teammates are loving it. Yeah, so am I. Everybody loves an aerial show. The visitors with the ball. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. And the basket by Bowen. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's Hall. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Now Berea. to Hull. Six to shoot. Out to the right wing. From about 16, it's blocked! Here's Miles. To the left side wing. Here's Reynolds. And he bangs it home with one hand. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick, no rotation. My goodness. Here's Hall. Here's the floater. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Two shots. First free throw is good. <laughs> and the 
And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. For Charlotte, they've gone two for seven. A sluggish start. Pass to Hodges. Here's Gilmore. Here's Reynolds. There's a screen. Here's Hodges. And he converts the layup. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Pass to Dunleavy. Launches a three. Gets the three ball to go. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. For Charlotte, they've gone only three for nine from the floor. And there's the rejection. Out of bounds as Charlotte keeps possession. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Oh, you can feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Here's Reynolds. Throws good. Both good from the line that time. Two part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink them. by Wade. To the inside. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. So it's the home team now. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. in for Chicago. For Chicago, they've gone four of nine in this one so far. Steps back. Let's the three fly. Tries again. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul, third team foul. Shooting for Chicago. Clifton Haywood at the line for two. And he makes a first. And so he makes both from the line. And Charlotte shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. Here's Wade. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. 
Smith outside. Pass to McGee from the arc. That's on you. No good. And Charlotte going the other way now. A minute 53 left in the first. Down low. Here's Reynolds. Another shot. And he knocks the jumper down. He's got six. Wow, how about the start to this game? Taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great stuff. Pass to McGee. Back to Smith. Just four to shoot. From the high post, he drills it. And Chicago leads by three. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Here's Reynolds. He's got six. Here's Gilmore. Pass to Reynolds. Fires the three. Knocks down the triple. And that'll tie this game up. For Chicago, they've gone five of 12 in this first quarter. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first. McGee's shot is off. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. It seems really frustrating. Inside. And it's rejected. Pass to Smith. Fires from the wing. The shot misses. First quarter wrapping up here, and it's a tie game. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. 15. to get back into it here in game one. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what should take so far? Attacking relentlessly, drawing fouls. They won that first quarter at the strike. They have done a tremendous job of drawing contact and putting officials in a place where they simply have to make the call. Here's Hall. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. On the floor for Charlotte. Pass to Berea from deep three-point range. He can't hit that time. And Charlotte going the other way now. A chance to get a quick injury report. Guys, I was able to talk with Chicago's head athletic trainer about his status. And it seems to be a sprained ankle. They're trying to control the pain and the swelling right now. This is a team that's excited heading into the playoffs. Unfortunately, this news dampens the outlook zone. All right, Allie, thanks. Appreciate the update. Obviously, guys, you hate to see an injury like this. They're just so tough. It comes with the territory of being a professional athlete. But yes, here's hoping he recovers soon. Well, we're obviously hoping for a speedy recovery because we know this about this young guy. He simply loves playing the game. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Here's Wade. Drives to the hoop. Banked it in off the glass. Yeah. 
And for Chicago, they're shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. Here's Hall to the middle. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Pass to Wade from deep. Sinks it. What range from downtown. He's got five. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Charlotte. Man, I'll say this. I mean, the mid-range jumper has been a huge weapon for them offensively. Just tremendous so far. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. And the first one at the line is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. For Charlotte, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. Pass to Bowen. Here's the pick. Here's the three. And he missed again. Now one of five. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Right side, Berea. From 13. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Second team foul. Shooting for Chicago. Turn to Soto. Two shots. First one falls for him. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. He's perfect from the line this time. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Pass to Bowen. Here's Wade. Five points in the game. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. First one falls. That one's no good. For Chicago, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. And rejected. Pass to Bowen from deep three-point range. Rebound by Hall. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Here's Bowen. They set a pick from deep. And they'll get another chance. 
just off on that shot. Just one for seven in the game. No matter what he's tried, it hasn't worked. Unfortunately, the team is suffering from that. They get it again. Deflected. Pass to Hall from outside the arc. He drops it from range. Five points in the game. They're shooting the three extremely well this quarter. It'd be fun to see if they can keep it up. Here's Wade. Six points for him. Here's Bowen. Oh, steps back and drains the jumper. Ooh, how sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. Timeout time called time here. Out. Chicago decides to talk it over. So both teams changing it up here. to Dunleavy. Here's Smith. Can't hit the free throw line jumper. Here's Reynolds. He's got nine. There's a screen. Here's Bowen. Nails it from beyond the arc. And now just a three-point Chicago lead. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. Pass to Dunleavy. And here's Smith. And he lobs it up. Oh, deflected. Here's Miles. Here's Bowen. And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Nine points in the game. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Halls checked in for Smith. Substitution. For Charlotte, they've gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Here's Reynolds. Pass to Bowen. Out to the wing. Here's Hall. And that one is hammered home! And that's gotta hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. It's still close, though. These teams have been neck and neck. Let's see the response here. And there's a pick to the paint. And he takes the feet in stride and slams it home. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. It's a neck-and-neck -neck game in Chicago. Here's Hall. Seven points in the game. Pass to McGee. Here's Dunleavy. Back to McGee. Five to shoot. Free throw line jumper. And it's all missing. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. And they take the lead. And Charlotte leads by one. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. A minute 53 left to play in the first half. Pass to Dunleavy. McGee for three. Owen with a rebound. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. Here's Reynolds. Nine points in the game. 
That one's off, and now he's three for six. There's a minute 17 left in the first half. Here's Haywood. Misses off the left iron. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. Pass to Reynolds. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And he makes both free throws. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. 55 seconds left in the second. Pass to Dunleavy. Got a hand on it. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Here's Reynolds. And there's the screen. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Both teams will make substitutions. What's up? They desperately want to stop this run. Might be time to switch things up. Try a new play call or something. Outside Berea. Let's it go from deep. No good that time. One second left. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so it's Charlotte with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks so much. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And, Tom, what's it going to take? Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. Hello everyone, first game of the series, off to a good start for Charlotte. Looking at their shot chart, they've made a clear effort to work things down low. Doing a great job of getting points in the paint. It's certainly playing to their strengths. They do a lot of damage around the rim. The lead in this series is up for grabs. How important is it to start off with a win? To me it's crucial because it sets the tone, Ernie, Kenny. You always want to be a step ahead like I'm a step ahead of you guys. Mm, I agree with Shaq, but the playoffs are about adjustments. If you lose, hopefully you learn, and then you bounce back. Good points. I don't get to say that very often. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Have you back with us for the Eastern Conference semifinals on 2K Sports? Chicago shooting at 32% from the floor. Not good. Here's Hall. Outside Berea. They set the screen. Takes the three. Buries it from three. Perea's got his third bucket of the night. Wow, you don't see him left alone very often. And of course, he makes good use of it. And for Charlotte. 
Pass to Reynolds. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. 